Good morning, and welcome back to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is June 24th, and our reading is Lust. He gave the word to slay and slew the little children. And that's from a traditional carol. The third deadly sin is lust, as in sexualizing children, normalizing hookup culture, and inundating the world with pornography. It's hard to say when on-demand sexual gratification of the frequency, twist, and style one desires became humdrum. But 1968 is a pretty good guess. Sex education to reduce teenage pregnancy. Wider use of the pill. Relaxed obscenity laws. No-fault divorce. And social welfare quote-unquote reforms. Ushered in an age of single parenthood like none ever seen before. It was hailed as a great leap forward for women but we'd argue it freed men to be less responsible. It hasn't been great for families or children either. But lust is bigger than sex. Uncontrolled or illicit desires and appetites are rampant far beyond the bedroom. Lust for money, power, and blood have always been with us. Nailing society is just the newest version of a hideous ancient craving for more of everything. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Two tribes are reliving in a land where sex and violence are the new gods. Well, I'm not so sure about them being that new. I'm sure that perversity and, and lack of attention to family and, and bad things happened a long time before 1968. And that's not to say that everybody's got to do it in a straight-laced way or, it, or they don't have value as human beings or anything of the sort. But our, we live in a world of consequences. And when we elevate sexual gratification... Lust of any kind, not just for sex, but for money, for power, for control over other people. When we do that, we are setting up a dynamic that, that has very bad consequences. This doesn't have to be a, oh, you're going to go to hell or it's going to fall off if you keep playing with it kind of an argument. It's just a matter of reality that when we are obsessed with, with stuff, it's never enough. And we just always overdo it. That's, that's what an obsession is. And we have a hideous ancient craving for more of everything that we don't really need to tickle and excite. And yet our education, our media, our entertainment, our society glorifies this stuff. And uh, boy, we're not down with it. Just a quick reminder that the 19th, 20th, 24th, and 25th episodes can be found in the playlist Daily Dhamma, Deadly Sins, Precepts, and Their Opposites, in which we talk about the five precepts, the seven deadly sins. We do our version of, of the Scout Law, and we talk about other steps people can take that will make their lives more useful to our fellows. We encourage you to take a look at those. Please look at the description box below where you'll find the table of contents for the book, Daily Dhamma, Letter to Our Children. You'll find the contents of the nine playlists that we put together for the YouTube channel and give a listen to them. They're grouped by topic. If you're of a mind, please like and subscribe to the channel and and if you wouldn't mind stopping by amazon and picking up the book in either kindle or paperback form would be much obliged and happy trails to you until we meet again